our first goal is really to put someone in the first team and to create their identification with, a, with our fan base. That's really important. Is that what success looks like? The fact that you've got a player in the first team or is success winning the FA Youth Cup? You know, obviously everyone looks at, do we bring people to the first team? If we can have a doctor in America, that's as well as success for us as an academy. We're trying to get these people win in life. So the whole of fame of the academy should be a big variety of stories. We have a great team here at Arsenal who works on a daily basis and I've just came in. I need to start my journey really, you know, to get to, get to know the system and you need to struggle. I need to have bad results to see what reality is. Um, but at the moment we are pleased with the 18s, FA Youth Cup, the 23s with the new manager, Fred Ljungberg. It's exciting times, you know, for these youngsters to be surrounded by people who have been there, you know, at the top level. It shows you have the passion, um, but I'm, I'm thinking, um, if you have advice for people, for parents or for children about what is an Arsenal youngster, can you tell me in your mind what is an Arsenal youngster? No, they are so different. Everyone is so different and th that's, that's good. And probably the best, the best thing for parents is to relax because there's a lot going on for these youngsters and there's a lot of hype in the system of being a football youngster or a potential youngster in a football academy. You can end up as a professional footballer, but the chances are very slim. Um, be aware of education and there could always be a date where your son could be released, could get injured. There could be a possibility to play first team, to go to another team, to play football. Um, there are a lot of challenges out there. Just make sure um, these youngsters are prepared for any of them. Do you find that the parents can sometimes be more difficult to deal with than the children? I had. I had good conversations so far um, because obviously as a parent you're highly emotional when your son is not playing, highly emotional when he's not play, getting his playing time. I try to give them some support and tell them what I went through when I was a youngster and not highly regarded, not had that potential where I missed out a season because of injuries, you know, and anything can happen. There's a lot of blaming going on there, you know, why is my son not playing or is the coach, is the fitness coach, is always other people, trying to regulate a little bit. That's my job, but you almost have to deal with any sort of situation. You know, it's, it's, it's a good sign sometimes uh, to struggle and to go through these, those periods to prepare them for, for actually real life. The business is sometimes harsh, you know, it's, 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 it's a tough life. Everyone sees sometimes just a beautiful picture, of being famous, having all the money, but the reality is, is, is a lot of tough and hard work and you have to be resilient and really ready for the next stage. Do you think big clubs need sort of ex-players around? I think there needs to be a balance, you know? Not everyone is, is really made for it. Um, but sometimes we're trying to get people in from, from the past, who people who make Arsenal really big, you know? So youngsters need to understand that. It's great that the club believes in academy and believes that we can promote and develop youngsters who are who are going to challenge the first team, that's really the target. So is that what success looks like, the fact that you've got a player in the first team or is success winning the FA Youth Cup? Like, How do you balance that sort of uh, tension? If we can have a doctor in America, that's uh, as well as success for us as an academy. You know, That's how I see it. If we get someone who doesn't make it in football but has a successful career in a, somewhere else in the world, that's as well as success. You know, I wouldn't... I wouldn't measure it like that. So the Hall of Fame of the Academy should be very uh, a big variety of stories. Um, so I'm open to the FAU Cup winning that title with the 18s. I'm open to win the Premier League 2 title. Um, trying to get these people win in life. Can you talk me through some of the youngsters that have been included? Maitland Niles, Smith Rowe, he's on loan. Yeah, interesting talent, you know, but as well very young. Bukayo Zaka is 17 years old, for example and uh, we don't want to push him too hard, you know, to an extent where um, he's misused in a way, you know. He has to cope with that tempo, he's still a first-year scholar, so he has got a lot of education going on, and we don't want that he thinks that is just good enough just to train with the first team, no. The manager likes him, yeah, but still he has got a lot of steps to do before he can call himself a real professional in the first team environment. And you've got Smith Rowe and Lone at RB Leipzig. Yeah. Can you talk me through that decision and yeah. um, his, his sort of development? I think it's, 
it's really important to see him going on loan for half a year to see to have a great experience, you know, to play in the Bundesliga that sits right below the Premier League in terms of the tempo. I think from 23s to Germany and then coming back to the Premier League is a good step in between. Sometimes you get stuck in that 23s first team training bubble where you train with the first team, which looks nice, but you need the competition. And if the 23s competition is not uh, good enough for you in terms of the tempo, you need to have a different step in between that. I just wanted to see, obviously you keep an eye on, you must watch some of the guys overseas, don't you? So what have you made of Reese Nelson in Germany? Yeah, it's quite interesting for him, the journey he's facing in Germany, the challenges, uh, and he's describing it. It's, it's a tough time every day in training. And there's something he takes on with a young manager who really believes in him, who gives him chances. Sometimes he c comes off the bench, makes the difference. So for him, the next step is really to play really regular, playing uh, always uh, from the start. That's his next challenge. But at the moment, he's making an impact coming off the bench. He's getting minutes. Uh, he's learning a new culture, a new language, I think, is very beneficial to him. Can you explain what this link might be that's sort of emerging from English football and German football? <laughs> yeah, the thing is, at the moment, we have uh, positive examples, you know, from players going from England to Germany and really embracing that little step back, you know, and really evolving in that system, in that German system, in the Bundesliga. They fit quite well. But obviously, the more and more players are going, there will be some examples where it doesn't work. At the moment, we have the positive examples and everyone trying to jump on that train. Um, but we shouldn't be shy of daring to do so. Do you think sort of um, the sort of hudson Adoy example, um, that, that's something that shows that you need to make sure you have a pathway or you as a club might lose, you know, somebody like Smith Rowe to a German team? Yeah, and that should be fine as well. Because the more actually English players go on to another journey, it might help the national team, it might help that they come back at one stage. Not everyone is made for the pathway of in an English club. Maybe it's somewhere else for the benefit of him. Maybe you have to lose sometimes a player for a lot of money. He has not played regularly, but still um, there's always that decision to make. Is it because we think oh, he could make it somewhere else or do, he, do we really think he can make it here? So you've got to weigh all these options. So. Um, but we're not shy, you know, to let players sometimes go when it's beneficial for, for their development. And then the Jaden Sancho comes back, play for England because of that journey, because of he has, he has learned a lot and used the facilities. So um, I'm actually quite excited about that for, for English and British football.